Alright, how's it going guys? Diamond here. And today I'm going to explain and show you guys how to install 1.17. It literally just released today. If you want to get your hands on a game and start playing with friends, well, this is the video for you. Of course, I do want to inform you that I'm not going to be doing port forward, mainly for security reasons. But however, if, if you want an easy way to install 1.17, make sure to check out Revive Node in the description down below. They offer a dollar per gigabyte and picking a server with them, you get full Discord support, an easy version installer so you can have 1.17 running right now and a great team ready to help you whenever you need it. Using the promo code DIAMOND all caps, you can get 15% off your very first purchase today. And that's all I can really say. So make sure to check them out in the description down below. Other than that, let's get started with this video, shall we? All right, so let's begin. First thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft client and go into installations. After that, you can go ahead into the latest and click these three dots at the end and click edit. After you did that, you can go ahead and click server and then literally just download the jar onto your PC. Once you have that, I'm going to provide a link in the description down below, which will bring you to this page. In here, you can download the latest version of Java 16, which is required in order to run the latest version of Minecraft. You can just come all the way down if you have Windows. If you have Mac, you can use the Mac OS installer. But if you have Windows, you have to use the Windows 64 installer. You can either just click either one of the download links and you will have this installation. I'm not gonna go for the installation process. It's literally just click continue next and accept the terms of services and you're done. After which, we're gonna go ahead and start creating the actual server. Go ahead and create a folder. I'm just gonna name this 1.17 server. I'm gonna drag and drop the jar we just downloaded from the launcher, and I'm gonna open up the folder right here. Once you're here, you can go ahead into your windows and search text. Click enter once you have the notepad open, and you should have the empty notepad software. What we're gonna do here is in the description, you can go ahead and copy the following code, Java, Java-XMX one gigabyte dash jar. And right here is where you're gonna replace it with your jar name. So ours is server.jar. You wanna make sure it's the same exact name if you change it for some reason. But for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it server.jar. After that, you can go ahead and click save as. We went directly into the server folder, and here we're gonna go ahead and delete everything and name it run.bat change from text documents to all files and click save. You can go ahead and close this. And right here, you should have a bat file. If you install Java 16 perfectly, you should have no issues in running this. And it will appear with this text message, failed to load EULA. This is no issue. You haven't done anything wrong. You can go ahead and close down the window and open up the EULA.txt and replace false to true. Of course, please make sure to read the EULA as there is some important information that you need to be worried about when creating a server. You can now close this and you can actually start it up. As you can see, all the files are generating just fine. It will probably take a minute or two. Another pop-up will appear on your screen. No need to worry, this is just a Minecraft server creating all the necessary files you need. While that's happening, you can go ahead and just switch over to 1.17 and start it up. It's been loaded up in about 36 seconds, which is fine. Now let's head into Minecraft. What we're gonna do is go into multiplayer. We're going to add a server. We can name this whatever we want. I'm just gonna keep it as Minecraft server. And we're going to add our IP, local host and you can just click done. And as you can see, it's loaded up just fine. As soon as you join, it's gonna start generating a lot of chunks. It may take a few moments for it to start for the first time, which is perfectly fine. Cause of course we are running this only on a gigabyte of your actual RAM. So here we are, we're in the world and I can actually show this off. If you wanna op yourself, you can do op and then your username in the console. And I can show off that this is the 1.17 server. We can go ahead and creative. I can grab, for example, a goat and we can spawn them in. So as you can see right there, it works perfectly fine. If you don't believe me, we do have some of the new generation down below, such as the, the geos, if I can find one. There we go, one down here, and there you go. Of course, there's a lot more to this than just some geos and goats. You can discover that for yourself when you create and start playing with your friends. Unfortunately, I will not show you how to port forward, mainly because I don't actually know how to do it. I don't suggest doing it because you will be providing others with your IP and it's very, very dangerous. So if any case, make sure to check out Revive in the description down below. Well, there you have it. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to smack the like button down below. If you have any video suggestions, please let me know. If you that, make sure to check out Revive Node in the description if you want an easier and quicker installation process. Make sure to have an amazing day and I'm Diamond and I'll check you guys next time. Cheers.